Hi guys, how's it going? Lady Survival here. So today I wanted to make what will probably be my like last video in my bedroom as it is before I have to officially start packing my stuff. Um, at this point I am probably about just a little bit over a week away until I will be moving to the United States assuming I get my passport back in the mail okay. Um, basically I made a post about this on Instagram and also on my Facebook for like my closer like family and friends. Basically I had to go to Montreal on this past Friday which was the 21st um, for my visa interview and they approved my visa so I basically had to go there and they had to look at a bunch of like my paperwork stuff like police reports, birth certificates, my passport. I had to give them like some 2x2 two two US visa passport size photos. Um, they had to look at like Derek's financial support for me. Um, they asked me a bunch of questions about like our relationship, when we met, how many times we've visited, um, if either of us have been married before or have had kids in the past and just like a bunch of questions. There's like a truck going by outside. Um, and then basically after, okay, so when I went there, they like give you a ticket number and then you wait for them to call you and they're like, go to like this window. There was like a bunch of different like windows with like agents working and stuff. And you like went up to the first one and they kind of ask you questions and take your paperwork for about 10 minutes and they tell you to go sit down again and that they'll call you again in a little bit. Um, after I waited for about 20 minutes, they called me back up and then they asked more questions and then basically he was like, all right, so I'm going to approve your visa and he gave me like this sheet that said like, welcome to the United States, basically saying like, yep, like you got your visa. Um, and now at this point, I'm just waiting to get my passport back because I had to leave my passport with them because they're going to be adding like the K-1 visa stamp decal thing into my passport. So. They're going to be shipping that back to me soon. I don't know exactly. It should be within a week or two. We're pretty sure within the first week of June I will be able to move. So it's crazy. It's very, very soon. So the reality of needing to pack is definitely settling in. Um, I've already been kind of packing up like a few random things that aren't like important or that I don't really care about. Like for example, stuff in my closet that's just kind of like, you know, like I don't use it really. So I can just put that away. So I already have, I think like, a box or two packed up but it's um but at this point because it's so close it's like okay I really need to start putting my stuff away but I knew I didn't want to do that until I had kind of made like this video which is sort of like my um I guess my goodbye slash closure video for myself um just to kind of come to terms with it because obviously my bedroom means a lot to me I'm sure a lot of people especially if you've lived in the same place for a long time like you do develop a really deep connection to your bedroom and it's like your safe place it's where you go to sleep it's where you hang out um it's where you've gone through like stages of your life and different emotions like i've cried in this bed i've cried myself to sleep so many times okay i've been through so much shit with like relationships and just stress and just like whatever you know like just stuff that you deal with and everything and it's like i'm moving out and this will be the first time I'm going far away from home like I'm going to a different country which is insane and like I'm getting married it's like I'm actually starting to do adult things and it's like I'm coming out of like my childhood you know like I've been here for a long time and it's just really really crazy to think about so this video is mostly for me to be able to look back on to have like you know comfort and just like remembering my room as it was before I left um, but again also to share it with you guys too because I think that some of you might be like interested in my whole like journey because some of you have been around for like so long it's literally insane and I appreciate so much and that's another thing too like this bedroom is where my YouTube channel started like I've lived in this city for like I think 11 years now um, but in this house, I think we moved in like eight years ago or something like that. I don't really remember the exact dates, but all I know is that I started my YouTube channel in here. I think it was October 31st, 2012 was my first ever video. I don't even know if I still have it on my channel because I know I did go through and delete a couple videos, but I did my first video ever over there on the floor in front of my closet. It's like World of Warcraft calendar pictures. I like cut them out of a calendar and taped them to my wall and my biggest inspiration for starting YouTube was Trade Chat, P 
Panzer. I freaking loved her, so I wanted to do like a World of Warcraft channel, and I used to do a bunch of like World of Warcraft giveaways on my floor where I would be like, all right, like I'm giving away game time or I'm giving away an in-store mount or like transmog items and all that type of stuff. And I would talk about expansions and it's just crazy to know that I'm still here, you know, like I'm still filming and I've been in my same room. I've had a bunch of different relationships that have failed and been horrible. I've had good relationships that have failed. Like I've just been through a lot. I've had the whole like Lita situation. Um, I've met Lita. Like there's just a lot of like, I've just done a lot of stuff while I've existed in this room. So it's definitely an entire era and chapter of my life that I have to say goodbye to. But the biggest one is just, of course, like World of Warcraft. Like World of Warcraft has been the defining factor of my life for basically my whole life. Like basically since I've been old enough to really like you know, like since I was eight or nine years old, I started playing WoW. Like it's been my entire, like since I've been conscious enough to kind of make my own like decisions and not just be like a little kid, you know, like I've grown up with World of Warcraft. It's been my everything, it's been my entire being. I've based my entire like life and aesthetic off of Sylvanas Windrunner. Like that's what this room is, you know, it's basically a tribute to Sylvanas and everything that she has meant to me and done for me and how she's forged me into the person that I am today and I just don't want to say goodbye to this place but at the same time like I'm ready I can't live with my parents forever and I'm of course in love and getting married so I mean like I'm so ready in that sense to just be with Derek and be with my partner the love of my life so yeah um so with that it will come to saying goodbye to my beautiful Solanus gothic purple dark lady aesthetic world of warcraft life um and basically move to the states and just move that life over to the states so it's really not even that big of a deal because derek is fully um aware and supportive of my love for sylvana of course we will have a shared space i'm not gonna like completely be like oh my god our entire house is gonna be sylvana's but a lot of it will be and he's cool with that because i mean he's just as much of a nerd for world of warcraft as i am and he loves sylvana's too but of course I'm, I'm a psycho when it comes to that, but um, yeah, basically I will still be good to bring all my Sylvana stuff and hang it all up. I don't know if we'll be able to like paint any rooms purple because if we're like renting an apartment or something or whatever we end up getting, I don't really think you're supposed to paint or like if you do, you'd have to put it back to normal and I don't know how long we'll be staying at any given place. So like, I don't really know how all of that's going to work, but either way, I'm going to have all my Sylvanas and WoW stuff up. So it's not really like that big of a deal but it's not going to be like my room you know anyways basically the whole kind of point i wanted to get at um and just kind of the whole purpose of this video is just to kind of like say goodbye to my room and know that i love this room and that it'll always be like the biggest part of my life up to this point you know like and i'm just so glad that i got to meet derek and talk to derek and get to know derek all while i was sitting right over there at my little gaming area. Like knowing that meeting my literal soulmate, twin flame, crazy romantic partner online long distance and it all took place right here in my favorite spot is just like, it's crazy, it's unreal. I freaking love it. Um, With that, this was kind of like my intro. I just kind of wanted to be chilling, sitting on my bed, but I did kind of want to just walk around my room and kind of show you guys everything um, and just kind of take it all in as it is, you know? So we are gonna go ahead and do that. So to start this, I essentially just kind of wanted to do a little kind of room tour, just sort of overview, just like looking at my room. Um, I do apologize that it is pretty dark in here. As you guys know, I do enjoy it to be pretty dark when I'm in my room. I do not enjoy the sun to be blaring in because that's just not a mood that I enjoy. But guys, look. At my queen. This is a towel that Derek made for me. It's like a kind of glitched out version of Sylvanas and he made one for himself of Illidan and it's freaking amazing, okay? I love this Sylvanas towel. It is so cool and I can't wait to move in with Derek and have our Sylvanas and Illidan towels side by side just because they look cool. Like I just use it as wall art but I mean like we can bring these to the beach and it'll be cool. And then here is my beautiful 
World of Warcraft shelf, which recently I like cleaned off and kind of reorganized it. So it's actually looking pretty good compared to how it used to be. I also have these random like stickers. I put this World of Warcraft sticker and there's like a Murloc one, which you can barely see because it's like clear, but it's cool. But guys, I have to pack up all of this stuff and this is like the majority of the stuff that I have to pack up. Like this is basically the next video that I make will probably be of me packing up this shelf because this is like the majority of the stuff that's going to take up boxes and be really heavy. So yeah, but I think that like it won't be that big of a deal to pack it because like whatever, it'll just be like an empty shelf, but at least for now. I will still keep up all of my wall art and I'll probably leave that to the last possible minute before I put all that away. But in time, after I pack all of this stuff up, maybe like a few days after that, I will have to pack up my Sylvanas shrine as well as my Sylvanas cosplay. So this is um, Sylvanas's bow right here, which is part of my cosplay. The rest is in my closet and I have her quiver here too, but I will have to pack that up soon too. So basically, of all the stuff in my room, this area will be the kind of first couple things that will need to be packed up. So I'm going to miss it, but it's definitely a thing. And then I will start to pack up my wall art and whatnot next. And then pillows and stuff will kind of be one of the last things as well. Um, at some point, I also do have to disassemble my chair and figure out how I'm going to pack that up because... Um, I don't have the original box anymore, so I don't really know. I might have to like kind of split it up and put like certain pieces in different boxes to make it work with the boxes that I do have. Um, yeah, but like guys, I just love my room. It's just so good, okay? Like I just love the aesthetic. It's just so good. This area right here looks bomb. I freaking love it. I'm gonna miss my bed so, 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 so much. I'm definitely bringing these two pillows with me because they are awesome. Um, the Sylvanas one, I'm just going to take the pillowcase and not the pillow itself because I don't need it. Definitely bringing my Hearthstone pillow, but I'm not going to bring, I have this random like kind of rose gold fluffy pillow that I don't even like. I don't know why I bought it. So I'm not bringing that and I'm not bringing this big white fluffy pillow. Um, these are my silk or satin, I don't even know what they are, pillowcases, which again, I will just take the pillowcases, not the actual pillows. And then I will be bringing this blanket too because it's just cool and like gothic-ness and stuff so yeah and of course I'm gonna bring all of this stuff on the walls because it's just really cool and they're not too big I should be able to pack those no problem and just kind of put blankets and pillows in between them so nothing breaks um and of course I'll be bringing my dragon mirrors of how they look on either side of my Sylvanas wall scroll like it is so cool and I can't wait to put those up at Derek's house and see where I put them and what they look like um, I also, I recently bought these LED lights like a few months ago, like maybe a month or two ago, and I don't think that I'll be able to take them down and salvage them because I mean it's all like sticky on the back so it's probably going to be a disaster so I'll probably just have to buy new ones, but um, they were fun while they lasted, okay? Like, kind of silly that I bought them knowing that I was going to be moving soon. Also the last couple don't work, I don't know why. I, I didn't do it. I don't know what's wrong, but these have been so cool. I love the purple aura that it's given off while I've been here for a little bit. Um, this right here, guys, look at how cute this is. My aunt got me this um, nightstand a few years ago. Well, not a few years ago, like when I was really little. I was probably like eight years old. And I've had it like my whole life, but I am not going to bring it because it is just too big and too heavy because it's like real wood. So I'll just leave it here and my mom and dad can have it. Why not? Yeah, crazy, I'm gonna miss it, but at least it'll still be in the family. And then over here, guys, my, of course, favorite area ever because I spend like 90% of my life here, obviously, playing World of Warcraft and Heroes of the Storm, and it's also just a super special area to me because this is where I've spent basically all of the long distance part of Derek and I's relationship, sitting here, talking to him on discord and it's like the fact that I got to experience that part of my life with him and now I'm going to like move there but like knowing that I got to experience it in my room which is my favorite place ever and he is my favorite person ever I'm just so blessed to have that I'm god I'm so excited 
But guys, look at my amazing Sylvanas desk area. I freaking love it. It's so cool. I will be bringing my keyboard with me and my mouse. Even though my mouse is just a random shitty one on Amazon, I'll still just bring it. Um, my mouse pads, and then I will be bringing this monitor with me because it's newer and better. Um, but this one, I don't think I'm going to bother bringing because... I don't need it. I mean, I technically don't even need this one because Derek has a bunch of monitors at his house, but because it's pretty new, I'll bring it, but this one I don't care about. And my PC, which is just chilling on the floor here, um, I'm not going to bring it with me. Hello, I'm just sitting here chilling. Um, my brother wants to buy it off of me, and there's really no reason for me to bring it because Derek and I have, like, brand new computers that we just bought within, like, the last year. Like, when I went to go visit him in October, we bought them, so I really don't need this and it would just be a really big heavy unnecessary box to ship that I don't want to risk getting damaged so yeah my brother's gonna buy that off of me so I don't have to worry about that but um shipping this will be an adventure I'm very excited to take that apart but also scared because I don't really know how so we'll be looking up a video and hopefully that goes okay but um yep look at how beautiful I don't want to take this stuff down why do I have to do it you guys no and then over here is my big, beautiful, full-length mirror, which I cannot bring with me, you guys. It is too big. There's no way I could ship this thing in a box or anything safely. It's not worth it. So we'll be leaving this. I might even sell it to just kind of make some extra money before I move. Um, but I'm going to miss it because I've had this mirror for a long time now, and I've taken a lot of selfies here, but I can buy new mirrors. It's not that big of a deal, but... uh yeah, here I have, I mostly put like my makeup stuff in here, like I have all of my palettes in there, I have like deodorant and like random hair stuff, I keep my hair extensions in there and just like clips and just random stuff. I have like my little makeup area down here too, but um, I'm not going to be bringing this because this is just a random like Walmart storage organizer thing and it's like super cheap so there's like no reason to bother, but uh, yeah, and then my Sylvanas bag which I freaking love, of course I'm bringing that. I always bring this bag, like when I go to the airport, this is the bag that I wear with them, and then I use my Killstar carry-on uh, luggage case thing. Um, then I got a bunch of my hoodies, which I will be bringing with me as well. And then a tapestry over here, which again, I will be bringing. I have this random mirror here too, but I'm not bringing this one. This is just a random one that used to sit on top of my dresser, but my dresser's like in my closet now, so it won't fit on top and like... I don't care. I just put my dresser in my closet because I didn't have any room out here and like I thought it looked cleaner put away. So yeah, my closet's a disaster though, so we're not even going to look in there. But my cosplay is in there as well, which I will have to pack. So yeah, basically here is my room one more time. I just kind of wanted to get an overall kind of look in my room because this will be one of the last times that I see it put together. So I just really, really wanted to do this again this is mostly for me just to see it all and remember it as it is but like look at these like aesthetic shots like guys look at this little area I know that's like the worst quality ever and you can't even see anything but it's beautiful okay the purple LED lights just make it amazing and then my other favorite spot is of course over here my bed area and then my World of Warcraft stuff. I basically just love like from here to here is just my favorite. Like I love it. Like this, can I just get in a spot where it's like all together? Hello. I love it. I'm in love. I don't want to leave this place, but we got to leave it and get on to new things and combine my nerdy stuff with Derek's nerdy stuff. So that is fine with me. Yeah, anyways, um now I'm just kind of chilling over here in this other special spot because I spent the beginning part of my video um, on my bed, which is very special, but now I want to chill over here. Also, I forgot to show you guys this, my, how do you say this, Hatafang, 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 I don't really know. I'm a really bad Lord of the Rings lore pronunciation nerd, but this is Arwen's sword. I've had it for um, a long time. My parents got it for me for Christmas a while ago, but I will have to pack this up too. I don't really know if I have like a box that's like long enough to fit this, but we will find a way to make it work. So I definitely have to bring it with me. So yeah, I had to show you guys that. This will be the next to go. You guys, I will be packing 
all of my World of Warcraft stuff away into boxes. I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. And I'm excited to film it because I feel like that'll be a fun video of you guys watching me pack my stuff. So yeah, just as well as I'm excited to pack up my statue and my cosplay, so I should get like three videos out of that. I hope, like I do really want to film them, but like I mean, I don't know, like moving is stressful. I don't know if I'll actually get around to it, but I'm really, really gonna try to make sure that I film it, but we'll see. I mean, I apologize if I don't, but I would really, really like to. Ooh, we are gonna wander over to my little desk area. I'm sorry about the weird lighting again, but guys, this is the special spot, okay? Is there a way that I can go where it's like bright? Look at that, facing my window, even though it's like not open, but there's still light coming through. That's decent, right? I think, I don't know, but I don't like it. It's too bright. <sighs> guys, how do I leave this spot? I don't know what to do. Top of saying goodbye to my room, I just think it's also so surreal that we're gonna be saying goodbye to the long distance, like forever. So Derek and I have visited like five times. Obviously we know what it is like to be together, but it's always just been like temporary visits. So we've never felt like the comfort of knowing like we're together now. Like I don't have to go home. We don't have to worry about saying goodbye. And it's like, that's actually happening. But at the same time, like the long distance has been like an amazing journey and part of our relationship that I would not give up for the world. Like I wouldn't change the fact that we were long distance and have been long distance because it's definitely grown our bond a lot stronger and I think that long distance is one of the most amazing relationships that you can have. Like you really have to, uh, like you really have to have trust and communication and you have to find creative ways to have fun together and I just think that it's made us so much stronger experiencing the distance and it's really weird to think that pretty much once I move I'll never have to talk to him through discord again really ever unless we're like traveling apart for some reason or whatever but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be together at all times for the rest of time because we are obsessed with one another so there's no way I'm gonna be separated from him but it's just weird like probably the only time we'll really communicate not in person is like maybe through the phone like if he's like at work or like getting groceries or something maybe we'll like call each other but like for the most part we're gonna be together 24 7 so we'll never have to experience being apart I'm definitely so excited to end it because it sucks missing your lover but goddamn it was definitely a really really fun um, experience to have and I'm so glad that we got to have it and most importantly like I was saying I'm so glad that I got to experience it here in this room that meant so much to me so yeah anyways I think that that's everything I wanted to say and everything I wanted to show. Um, I think that definitely right here in this spot is the best place to end this video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Most importantly though, to myself, because I'm sure that I will be watching this again in like two years, five years, ten years, whenever I'm watching this, never forget how much this place meant to you and how much the Dark Lady means to you in every possible way. Um, and I hope that in a few years your life is still going well and that you're living all of your dreams and that you continue to worship Solvanus, the Dark Lady, who you have pledged your life to eternally. Anyways, I know that you guys think I'm a psycho for Solvanus, which I am. And with that, I just want to say goodbye to my purple Solvanus room that has been with me through so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!